Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Thursday, November the 15th. 16th, excuse me. 2023, Throne Thursday. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones Tarot Cards. So we're starting off with the Six of Swords. But you see the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So something has happened here. This could be a heartbreak. This could be something that has gives you emotions. It is in the new moon, so we probably are very much in our emotions with the shadow. So, you know, got to watch that shadow energy. But it's, you're choosing to move forward. And that's the takeaway here. Because they are highlighting the empress in the middle. They're also showing the the magician because the communication you've had with yourself. The communication you've had with spirit. You're not watching this video because you're a naysayer. You're watching this video because you're looking for guidance. That's what tarot is all about, is guidance. You know, life is a mystery, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of guidance. Like I remember when I started my widow journey, it's like just guidance that everything will be okay. That I'm going to, you know, not have a, a breakdown down the road and I'm still going to be the mother that my children need me to be. So you have the experience for this. You've experienced worse, unfortunately. You know, there could have been an actual bereavement around you. So with myself, my aunt has transformed because she was battling the big C. And I know that the silver lining is, is that she's not suffering. She is a strong force in this world. She always has been. She's been that uh, champion for children. You know what I mean? So I feel like with her, you know, it's not like it, you shouldn't be sad over this. You know what I mean? This is your higher levels of thinking telling you like, you know, she's in a better place. Yeah. The one thing about this human experience is the price that we pay for love. We love these people dearly, like, you know what I mean? Like, we want them in our lives, but at the same time, it's like, we have to understand that, you know, in this case, we, you know, what kind of life was she living, you know? So, it's like, that's not the kind of life she wanted, you know? So, we know, you know, I know there's that part of us, that human part of us, which we can never deny, you know? But like they said, they're choosing for, you. you've chose to go forward, you know? So this is where, you know, this new beginning starts. Maybe this is you breaking a toxic chain in your life where you would fall for toxic situations and repeat the definition of insanity. Well, this is better than being single. Say for this is a breakup, you know, or, you know, when spirit has been talking about this depression, you know, we are, the days are getting shorter, not shorter, but the, well, the daylight is getting shorter, but it's just like, you know, Make the most of it. It's just like, okay, I know the peak hours are, you know, 12 till 4. It starts to get cold around 4. So let's get out between, you know, 12 and 3. You know, get out there, get that vitamin D naturally instead of taking supplements. Go outside and get, and get in the sunshine. You know, sit there and, um, you know, take charge of yourself. Take charge of your health. This is a great time to start um, a routine. So maybe you, you start working out with me. I started taking CMOS. I haven't, eh, you know, eh, it's nothing like major, you know what I mean? So I don't know if I'll continue it, but it's just like, you know, I know some people, they do feel a significant change, you know, I'm actually getting grape seed oil. My first bottle broke. They delivered a shattered bottle. I was like, well, brilliant. Put a glass bottle in a, a bubble envelope. What could possibly happen? <laughs> Especially this time of year, you know, but it's just like, there's a healing taking place. And that's why I say toxic chains have been broken. With the five of cups in reverse, you are choosing to see the light. You are choosing to live in happiness. You know, like we've had like some significant things happen. And it's just like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a lot of people like, eh, for me, I'm like, you know, I sat there, you know, just like our queen of cups here. And I, I think Yahweh and Yeshua, you know what I mean? Being offered a cup, the cup is just sitting, cups don't sit in bushes. You know, this is a cup being offered, highlighting who you are. You are an empress. You are a leader. You wear your heart on your sleeves. You lead with love. You're a nurturer. You're a guider. You're a supporter. You know, you may we not articulate it the best way all the time, but it's just like you are that force, you know, a, a new beginning of light because we're not taking on these toxic situations anymore before we would settle for things. This is better because this is what we've been programmed to believe. It's better than being single. Well, you know what? Singles being better than a toxic relationship. Singles being better than pooped on constantly, you know? This is the truth of the situation, you know? They were talking about this karma, karmic energy, you know? And I feel like how the choices we made, how we go forward, you know? 
Spirit was telling me the whole time, big, bold letters, don't. You know, we came to a situation, stop. You know, big stop sign, big, bold, white letters, stop, with exclamation point. You know, because this was never supposed to happen. You know, at first, everything was fine. And then as it escalated, they're like, no. You know, I wish you the best. Asalu, move forward. I used to beat myself up about this. What's wrong with me? Blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, you know, you're nothing without a relationship. Oh, you're more than everything. You know what I mean? Nobody is going to give me ultimatums. No one got, tells me what to do except Yahweh and Yeshua. You know, whoever you are, divine creator, Gaia, Mother Earth, your higher self. It's like you live this life, you know, long enough. Like I, I was watching Better Call Saul with my son. And there's a part where Saul's like, I've been living my life to help people please everybody else. I've been doing what everyone else has been telling me my whole life. Now, whatever it looks like, it looks like, you know, I'm not going to be your doormat mat no more. They are showing you are going to be the victor wearing the wreath. Maybe you are upset about a bereavement, but they're like, they're saying like, you have the experience to carry forward. You know, they're talking about the moon, you know, new territories, cutting out territories. They're saying like putting your energy towards positive things. Nine of Swords, we're not going to cage ourselves up. We're not going to lock ourselves up and hide away. We're moving forward. You're the Queen of Cups. You're a nurturer. You fill other people's cup. Going side and side with that. You know, they're just like, no, no, no. Doesn't matter what you resonate or what you title yourself as, you know. It's like he, she, they, whatever. It's like you have a heart of gold. You are here to be the light for others. So this is where Spirit is saying, like, you have the experience for this. How can someone take advantage of a certain situation, you know, with myself of a bereavement, but you know, I'm in a good place with it because I know she's in a better place. Would I love her to be here for sure? You know, but this is the way the world works. Unfortunately, you know, we have to say goodbye to people and it's the worst, you know, but it's like she was suffering, you know, and for someone in my case to sit there and, you know, try to make a toxic situation out of it. I'm like, Oh heck no. This is exactly why they said don't. And this is exactly why they showed that big stop sign. You know, some people will show you exactly who they are. So take those rose color goggles off and stop accepting less than what you are worthy of. You know, this is not an ego trip. This is just saying, you know who you are. This is why this is all about enlightenment, showing how connected you are. You should not be accepting the things that you've accepted before. You broke that toxic chain. So now you can move forward in freedom. This is all freedom. People will call it something else, but that that's fine. That's what they like to resonate with. They go from toxic relationship to toxic relationship, repeating the definition of insanity. Let them. The definition of toxicity. That's their life. Let them live their life. You know, all the people that are always dissatisfied with their life always have a lot to say. They like to jibber jabber a lot. They love to tell people how to live their lives. And when there is nothing that mirrors what they thought it would look like, you know, so just keep moving forward. Move forward in a positive direction. Keep moving towards the light. Feel your feelings, but healing is taking place and they want you to find your happiness. You know, that is the truth of the situation. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, November the 15th, 16th, excuse me, 2023. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card.